Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Hello, I'm Professor Cohn. and this is the Forex Supermodel Weekly Flow Review for uh, Monday the 5th of the 7th to Friday the 9th of the 7th, 2021. We've written up the weekly flows to get us underway. We're going to stop start these uh, videos to uh, save time as we write things up. So anyway, Euro Dollar plus 16. So over that period, the 5th to the 9th, the Euro Dollar as an FX pair uh, gained 16 points or pips. Euro Yen minus 78. Euro pound minus 41, pound dollar plus 73, pound yen minus 43, and dollar yen minus 82. If you feed that into the, uh, the mix, then you get uh, a positive opposed driver in the yen at plus 203. Front and back door flows, mainly coming out the dollar at minus 171, out the euro at minus 103, and the pound was the positive rock at plus 71, activity plus or minus 274, relatively low activity. So over the week we had yen strength driving uh, with dollar weakness, euro weakness and a little bit of pound strength. Uh, there you go. So that's, uh, that's the sort of the weekly scenarios. Uh, we're going to stop it there and write up the, uh, the rest of it. So don't go away. Right, welcome back. Uh, we've written up these slightly differently. Uh, if you want the exact uh, daily uh, flows, you can get these by looking at the, uh, the uh, daily uh, briefings. So you'll get Mondays uh, on the Tuesday the 6th or the 7th. Uh, they're day lagged, so uh, you can look those up if you really want them. Anyway, um, what have we got then? We've got, we're looking at the drivers. So on Monday uh, the 5th, we had the pound as the unopposed positive driver. On Tuesday, we had the yen as the opposed uh, positive driver. Uh, Wednesday, the euro was the opposed negative driver. And Thursday, the yen was the opposed positive driver. Uh, and finally on Friday, the pound was the opposed positive driver. So, so uh, these, these, this is what was driving the market uh, during those days. So you've got, you've got pound, drive, pound strong, uh, yen strength, euro weakness, yen strength, pound strength. So uh, uh, that, that's uh, uh, useful information uh, going forward into next week. So we're going to stop it there and write up the, uh, the asset classes. Right, we're back. Um, we've written up the uh, uh, asset classes. Uh, but before we do that, just remind you then of the, uh, of the weekly flows. Over the week then we had the, uh, the yen as the opposed positive driver. Front and back door flows going into the dollar at minus 171. Sorry, out of the dollar at minus 171. Out of the euro at minus 103. And the uh, pound was the positive rock at plus 71. So, so you've, got, you've got yen opposed strength at plus 203. Um, dollar weakness, euro weakness. Uh, and a bit of pound strength. Uh, so um, let's have a look then. Uh, dollar index then. The dollar index, as, as we expected, came back. Uh, it's now 0.22 from the high. Uh, and gold uh, has, uh, has, has perked up off the back of this. It's 0.40 from the high. So uh, oil oils uh, did a massive break. It's come back and it's now... Uh, uh, just perked up a little bit. It's 0.15 from the high. Uh, Wall Street uh, has uh, had, had a significant pump up, but it's still not the highs. It's 0.15 from the model high. S&P uh, did this break. It came back and it's now sitting above its its uh, its actual secondary break. So it's uh, pretty strong. Uh, the tech uh, had this break. It came back and it's not quite made it to that break. So the tech's uh, slightly softer, uh, but still strong. Uh, US 10 year then, been flashing around all over the place. Price screamed up, yields came down, and now uh, Friday, the, the price has come down a bit um, with, with a little bit of strengthening in, in yields. The Bund, the European equivalent, uh, basically um, had this big pump up in price again, so lower yields, and it's come off again uh, in price. So uh, it's 0.17 from the high. 
so that they, they've got a similar feel to it. Uh, uh, ye uh, yields came right off in, in Europe and the US and uh, they've just slightly come back a bit. Uh, copper, copper's been sort of looking like a, uh, you know, one of those uh, uh, mad, mad things in a hospital when people are not doing very well. Uh, oscilloscope, uh, but uh, it's now uh, pumped up again, it's 0.27 from the high. Um, and the US steel has, has dragged itself a little bit off the floor, it's 0.4 from the floor. Right, what's going to knock this about next week then? So we've got three rates decisions next week. We've got uh, on Wednesday the 14th, we've got the New Zealand rates decision, we've got the CAD rate decision, uh, and on Friday the 16th, we've got the uh, JPY rates decision. So uh, interesting. Our, our trades have come back quite a bit. We're now 2,900 points. Um, uh, uh, in profit uh, from a peak of uh, six and a half thousand so we're about we roughly we've recovered nearly half so we'll call it 45 percent so uh so that's uh, an improvement but it's still a pain in the neck for us but uh, nevertheless things are starting to swing back uh and uh so we'll have a look at this from then before we uh before we finish off uh right so um we're short uh uh, USD uh, dollar against the euro, the pound, and the NUD, and we're short NZD against euro, pound, CAD, and uh, AD. So bear in mind that we've got uh, NZD uh, rates decision, CAD rates decision, and JPY rates decision next week. Um, and we're, we're looking we're looking to scale on the AUD uh, NZD long uh, that's that's basically all our other positions are pretty set we've got significant positions in uh, in pound longs against the uh, cable longs basically because uh, we're short it against the USD um, uh, less so in the euro uh, and we've got significant positions in, in shorting the NZD. Right, so, uh, uh, except we've had to bring the only one back was the AUD NZD long, uh, due to uh, it going permanently against us. So, uh, anyway, we're looking to ramp up bigger uh, and, uh, and make back any losses we made previously uh, on that pair, so, and some. So, uh, there you go, that's where we are. Uh, we're going to try and knock out the... Uh, the data cycle review uh, video uh, today and maybe put it out tomorrow. So try and catch that. If not, uh, see you for the uh, daily briefing on Monday. Uh, thank you for watching.